Maria, a, a welcome. You just returned from Ukraine. What is keeping your country men and women? What are keeping Ukrainians hopeful despite this this continuing carnage? Thank you, Eric. You know, what is keeping us hopeful is the fact that we have the truth and we do have God on our side. And also the fact that there is so much support from the American people. You know, I'm so grateful to you and to your team for inviting me, for bringing Razum and for bringing Ukrainians to the front lines and for telling our story. You know, after your show, I received so many calls and so many letters of support. The support is tremendous. And Janet from Delray Beach, Florida, called me and said, I saw that Ukrainians are cold and I want to knit hats for them. That was that was in March. Uh, it, it, it's absolutely unbelievable. Uh, you know, Kenneth Belter from Plano, Texas, sent me this wooden cross that I carry with me everywhere I go, because we need these symbols of support. Uh, you know, I, I was just watching the segments before before mine, and, you know, we have shootings, we have tropical storms, we have war in Ukraine. I'm sure it makes everyone angry and feel despair, but we can have that take over us. We have to have faith. We have to be strong. But we also need to understand that we are not in control of everything. I am part of a nonprofit in the United States, a nonprofit that before Russian invasion collected $200,000 a year, but we still were super effective. And now, because of everything that is going on and because United States leadership and American people, they understand that Ukrainian democracy, integrity and territorial space is crucial to the national security of the United States. And every day we are asking people to not forget about what is going on but also not fall into despair, because that way we are not effective. And this is, in fact, what our enemy wants. Your words are so eloquent and so strong and so meaningful. And we thank you and we thank our viewers here at Fox News who are so generous to Ukraine, to Razom for Ukraine. That's one way you can help. Uh, we, we as Americans are, are with you. What do you need? What do Ukrainians need? The, the president, for example, has okayed uh, uh, anti artillery of 40 miles length, but not 180 miles. Mm -hmm. And Ukraine is asking for that with the promise that they won't attack Russian territory. What can Americans do and Congress and this administration do to finally put the nail into Vladimir Putin? We need to speak up and we need to understand that it is important to speak with your representatives. They listen and they do care. They want to hear from you. Again, we are hearing from people from Kansas, from Florida, from Ohio, that they are with us and they understand that Ukrainians are fighting with their lives, but the whole world is behind us. And this, again, I don't pretend to be an expert on war, but I have learned a few things in the past three months. When you are fighting an enemy, you need to know who you are, what are you fighting for, and who is the enemy. And the enemy is a lot weaker than we think. I mean, look at the images of the second largest army in the world retreating, stealing from civilians. It is beyond embarrassing. It is absolutely uncomprehensible. So please reach out to your representatives and let them know that you have not forgotten about what is happening in Ukraine. And it is important for, for our security as Americans. Absolutely, we are connected in this world. Every country is connected. The, the prices are going up because of the war in Ukraine. Ukraine is the top producer of fertilizer, grain, and metals. And if Ukraine right now cannot export any of that, we are all feeling this. And, and finally, Maria, uh, you know, there are reports that Putin has been sick, 
Uh, do you think he will come to the negotiating table? Uh, it, the Wall Street Journal, for example, they say uh, today that uh, what it will take to end this war is a defeat of Vladimir Putin on the ground. You know, I believe in God and I pray for people and I even pray from, for Vladimir Putin, even though he has caused me so much pain. But I also have never felt so strong in my life. I'm very proud to be living in the United States, and I'm very proud to be born in Ukraine. I don't know what's ahead of us, but I do know that together we will win. And I invite everyone to come to Ukraine and celebrate together with me. Together we will win, says Maria Soroka, waiting for the day when Ukraine will fully be free. Maria, thank you. Thank you for your work, and thank you for coming today. And by the way, folks, if you want to help, uh, you can go to their website. It is razomforukraine.org. The charity is helping, and you can help Razom for Ukraine.